Hey everyone, it's Big Z and welcome to The Monster Inside, an audiovisual novella about a string of murders and we play as the investigator and we're gonna see what's going on. See, be prepared for this voice for the entire game. Maybe not, I may get tired of it, but I never get tired of trying to do the voice, so. The game also looks like really familiar. I feel like I've seen it somewhere else, but I could be confusing it with another film noir novella, so. Anyways. My head pounded, ears still ringing slightly. Some of the worst nightmares I'd had in years left me feeling like I'd been punched in the jaw. But just like any other day, I dragged myself to the office. What a good man. Good show. This the office? Am I supposed to be doing something? Probably. There was another notice on the door from Maya Vignetti's office. Permits added date. They didn't like me much, and they were trying to drown me in paperwork. It was a slow month, weeks since I had any real cases to work on, so I passed the time pacing the office, smoking and staring at the mirror in the corner, safely covered with an old bedsheet. Is it a magic mirror that perhaps hangs on the wall and tells you who's the prettiest of them all? Which, by the way, are not the actual words of Snow White. That's not what the Queen says. And that blew my mind. I went back and watched Snow White, and I forgot what she actually says. But, like, she doesn't say mirror, mirror on the wall. But, like, literally everyone references that. But it's not a thing, so who thought of it? Anyways. Mystery for another day. We're gonna figure out murders, not Disney mysteries. I don't dare look at my own reflection. I'm too afraid of what I might see. Afraid someday I might have to face what I really am. Pizza delivery guy, not a, a detective? That would be a plot twist. If we were playing a pizza delivery guy who thought he was a d detective. I don't know why I can't say detective. There we go. <laughs> the girl came in so quiet I nearly choked on my cigarette. Um, that would involve eating it? Mister, please, you gotta help me, mister. Calm down now. Sit down and talk slow. Yeah, what can I help you with? You ever heard of knocking first? Do we want to play the hardballer? Mmm. Uh. I don't know, we almost choked on our cigarette because of her. You ever hear of knocking first? I I'm sorry, I didn't mean to intrude. It's alright, sit down and tell me your tale. He's starting to turn into a mob boss. <laughs> she, uh, or she eyed me with just a dash of suspicion as I tossed back a handful of pills and chased them with a swig of whiskey, like a real man. Anyways, I could tell this might take a while. Also, you should not be drinking with your pills. I don't care what it is, you should not be doing that. No matter how man you, manly you are, that is just plain stupid. Her name was Lily. She told me she was his mistress, the man all over the newspapers, the infamous, infamous banker, Mr. Reginald Farnsworth. It's a heck of a name. Mr. Farnsworth was a drunk philandering bastard, but this girl seemed genuinely concerned that he had recently gone missing. Less concerned about the fact that Mr. Farnsworth, Farnsworth's wife had just turned up dead in Central Park two nights ago. You don't understand. He just couldn't have done it. He, hate, he hated his wife, but he couldn't have killed her. Everyone thinks it was him, and no one believes me. He's gotta be in trouble. For a second I was like, he hated his wife, but he wouldn't murder her? So I want to make sure I read that right. I ain't saying I believe you, but what makes you think he's in danger? This case looks pretty simple to me. Too simple. If I've learned anything from detective movies, you never go with your first option. You always wait for a second one to magically appear. That's more convoluted and kind of goes against Occam's razor, but whatever. I ain't saying I believe you, but what makes you think he's in danger? Well, Mr. Um... Jack. You can just call me Jack. Of course, a detective named Jack. Let's not get too cliche here. <laughs> Jack, whoever did that to his wife must have been the one who took him. He would have never left without me. He promised me. Uh, and y you know, I would love to believe that, but I've heard the, that story before from guys. Anyways, I'm sure Mr. Farmsworth promised this poor girl a lot of things. Please, the cops won't listen to me and they want to bring him in on charges. You gotta prove it wasn't him before they find him. Are we gonna find him dead? 
Honestly, I doubt they are in too much of a hurry. Farnsworth had practically the entire police force in his deep, deep in his pockets. Probably why they hadn't found much yet. If they found him and brought him in, it would be due to public pressure. Sometimes a mob with pitchforks is more dangerous than one man with money. You've got my curiosity, but you might not like what I find. I can help you. We'll get to the bottom of it. Don't you worry now. No, I like playing hard cop. I like playing bad cop. You've got my curiosity, but I don't promise I'll find anything. Oh, thank you, mister. Jack, thank you. But please, be careful. I don't think this was just any murderer or kidnapper. I think it... it I think it was, uh... A beast. Beast. The word struck me funny. Like when you jaw your elbow on a hard corner. It triggered your funny bone? Not a word many use these days except in hushed whispers and bedtime stories for children. Oh, they were real enough, all right. They just got better at hiding, controlling their unseemly urges. But I hadn't seen any monsters in nearly 15 years, back when I was still a cop myself. Now he's turning a bit British. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> well, that's definitely an interesting story. Now I can help you, we'll get to the bottom of it, don't worry. Leave the detective work to me. Let's not jump to conclusions here. Leave the detective work to me. I am a professional detective, even though I wear a pizza delivery uniform. I just have a feeling about it. Something tells me you can get to the bottom of it. You're good at this sort of thing. I can tell. Sure, you can't see how... Or, sure. Can't you see how busy I am with cases? I replied a little too harshly. Sarcasm wasn't my strong suit. Oh, we can help. I can help you with that. S sarcasm is my second language. I'm not sure if English is my first, but I try. <laughs> I reassured her some more and sent her on her way. I didn't want to scare her, but I warned her before she left to keep her doors locked and call me if she saw anything suspicious. I didn't know if she was in any danger herself, but better safe than sorry. That night, I made my way down to Central Park. It was a long shot, but maybe there was something there the cops had missed. Next chapter. Complete chapter one. That didn't take too long. We'll do chapter two. The scene was already picked clean by the cops days ago, but I've got a knack for finding the things others overlook. Like the, uh, having enough seasoning on your pizza. Like sometimes you can go overboard and that doesn't really help the pizza. So, you know, I got a knack for the small things. A knack. More of a symptom of a condition. Other less useful symptoms I keep in check. But for the time being, my keen sense of smell would come in handy. <gasps> Are you a werewolf? Is he a werewolf? I kind of prefer werewolves over vampires, so that's what I'm hoping he is. Is he like, oh gosh, what was it? The Wolf Among Us. Is he, is he B Bigby? What was his name? Because his name was almost Bigsy, and I was like, that's so cool. I think it's Bigby. Yeah, Bigby Wolf, right? Or something like that? I don't know. Anyways, I missed that game. That was a fun game. <laughs> Bring season two. Anyways. Um, it was faint, but I could smell it before I even approached the police line. The scent was less of a thing and more of an emotion. Seduction. Ooh, can we like interact with this stuff? There's blood marks on the tree, so that makes me think that, or you know, maybe another werewolf came by and decided to sharpen his claws. I don't know, but it looks like blood. A strangely familiar smell. I expected the scent of trepidation, or maybe even outright fear, but Mrs. Farnsworth seemed to have been at the height of pleasure when she left this world. That's, uh, interesting. Brought a new meaning to a crime of passion. Oh, he even does the corny dad jokes. The cheesy corny jokes, I love it. Pushing the thought from my mind, it was time to get down to business and defeat the Huns. Investigate the scene, though. We'll do the other thing later. We'll put it on the back burner. Oh, I can just investigate. A burn mark on a nearby tree caught my eye. I ran my finger along its length and felt a chill down my spine. 
Well then, weren't we all just wrong? It wasn't scratch marks, it wasn't blood, it was a burn mark. It's a very strange burn mark. This wasn't just any burn mark, this was the mark of an ancient magic. It's doubtful the cops would have picked up on it. Could Lily have been right? Something was unnatural. Or something unnatural was a play here. Not at play, a play. It was the full play. But I was no stranger to the strange. What about Stranger Things? It's a good series, like you really should get into it. Season two is coming out soon. Anyways. Muddy footprints everywhere. Difficult to pick out anything from the footprints the cops left behind in their haste. But cops don't wear $2,000 or $2,000 pairs of Carnicos. That's right, they wear 2,000 pairs of shoes all at the same time. I know, they really should go to Vegas, it's quite a show. It looked like Mr. Fonsworth was here that night and walked away on his own two feet. Okay, I guess that's it for that. We don't get to look around anymore. After looking around for a while longer, I realized the park had given up all it was hiding from me. So I trudged back to my apartment and my head hit the pillow like it owed me money. I'm gonna say that the next time I'm like taking a nap or something and I like let my friends know, I'm like, okay, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the pillow like it owes me money. And they're gonna be like, shut up. Why do we hang out with you? <laughs> Why do we associate with you? Oh, this is the next chapter. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this episode here. And in the next episode, we'll do chapter three and four. I think there's only four chapters because like there was an achievement list on Steam and I only remember seeing four achievements. There could have been more though. I don't know. But either way, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this episode here. Because I like this. It's a lot of fun doing this voice, and this will be a quick game to finish. So if anything, we'll finish it in the next episode. So of course, I do want to thank you all for watching. And I will see you in our next little adventure. Bye!